for watching this training video. This is a dummy's guide on how to change the oil in your car. By the end of this video, you will be able to find out what oil to use for your engine and how much to purchase. You will be able to identify which filter your car uses, specifically the oil filter. You will be able to obtain supplies to change the oil and know where to obtain those supplies. Uh, you will be able to execute proper oil, the proper oil changing procedure. And finally, you will know how to and where to dispose of the old oil and the old filter. As mentioned, the first objective will be to for you to find out what oil to use for your engine and how much to purchase. This is really easy. In the glove box, typically, of whatever car or truck you have, there's this thing. It's your owner's manual. My, my car is a 2005 Toyota Corolla. And in this owner's manual, it tells you specifications for everything about your car. Safety inspections, uh, and what we're interested in is what kind of engine lubrication and how much. And so for my engine is this one. You can see the key here. This is liters, quarts, and then uh, I think this is imperial quarts. If that's what, if I remember correctly. And so liters is 3.7, quarts is 3.9. So here in America, we're worried about this number because we go by quarts. So that's how we measure our petrol, as the Brits say. And uh, so I just round up, I can take four quarts in my car uh, because a little bit will burn off. So we don't really worry about that 3.9. So when you go to the auto parts store, you just say, I need uh, four quarts um, of whatever kind of oil that you need. And in the next clip, I'll show you uh, how you determine what kind of oil uh, uh, grade that you need for your car. Usually right on top of the engine right over here, there's going to be a place where you can put right there in this car where you can put the oil and you'll be able to see because it has this little symbol on it, the oil symbol right here. And as you can see, it says engine oil. And right here it says SAE 5W30. This is the code for the oil that your car will need. There are different kinds of oil numbers, uh, 10W40 and so on. And this just has to deal with how thick your oil is. But certain engines require certain types of oil, and this one requires 5W30. For objective number two, to identify which filter your car needs and uses, let's hop over to the auto parts store. And here we are. This is where a uh, place where you can get oil. This is just an auto parts um, store. Any uh, store will do. It can be O'Reilly's. It can be Checkers. They uh, they might be the same too. Uh, uh, AutoZone is another one, uh, Napa, depending on what part of the country you live. These are all places where you can go and obtain uh, the supplies that you need. You just go in and talk to the, the clerk and you tell him uh, what you need and he can get that for you. It's just as simple as that. But I'll also go inside. There's actually a book that contains every car uh, that... Um, and also you can, you, so for example, I'll show you my car when I go in there. I'll show you my 2005 Toyota Corolla, and then it'll tell you what kind of oil filter I need, because that's what I'm gonna have to go get. So I'll show you that. Luckily, because I showed you how and where to do number two, you already know number three. Uh, you can go to an auto parts store to obtain supplies to change the oil. And because I didn't want to be a creepy um, stocking customer uh, at the store, I didn't take pictures or a video of the actual stuff. Um, but you now know what oil that you'll need to pick up and uh, how to find out what filter. But you also need to go and talk to the clerk and say, I'm changing my oil. I would need an oil pan, an oil funnel, 
and some rags. That, that's all you need. They usually come in packs uh, all together that they sell for, uh, on sale for about $20 or so. And they, uh, in this instance, uh, at this part store, it was all sitting up front. And again, because I didn't want to be a creepy stalker person taking pictures on their phone in the store, I didn't. Uh, I opted not to do that, so I'm just going to tell you about it. For your fifth and final objective, you will be able to uh, know how to properly dispose of the old oil and the filter. And as I showed you in the proper procedure uh, to change the oil and to drain the oil, you now have this big old pan full of old oil, this black uh, sludgy oil and an oil filter as well. And typically the oil pans will have uh, um, around the rim of them uh, a little funnel so that you can dump that excess oil back into the quart bottles that, that the new oil came in. So keep the keep the bottles that the new oil came in because that's where you're going to be putting the old oil. And the same thing with the filter. You want to keep the, the filter box that the new one came in, and you're going to put the old one in there, even though it's full of oil. And once you're done doing that, you'll have about three to four quarts of uh, used oil and an, a dirty filter. You can just throw the filter away in any dumpster. But the oil you have to properly dispose of. You can't just throw it away in the dumpster unless your city has spe specifically said you um, their trash people will pick it up but what's more economical and green you might say is you can just take that oil to the auto parts store that I showed you or any auto parts store and you take it into them and they'll recycle it for you uh, so they can use that oil again